What is up, YouTube? This is Edmagician34, and this is Theme Deck Thursdays, week number seven, uh, where we're going to take our Bolt Twister deck just a little bit further. This is actually quite the week because we're actually going to be making some changes uh, that are kind of different from the changes we've been making before. Namely, we're actually going to take out some cards that we ourselves added. Uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you... Uh, I moved all our playtesting from practice room online to ranked play, uh, where people are taking much more uh, well-tuned, uh, practiced decks, and they're trying to get ready for uh, events, and there are some big events coming up. Um, so that said, um, we got stepped on a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> there's kind of, uh, you know, there's kind of this major gap between the practice and the, the ranked room, and uh, I did not appreciate watching my rank drop from uh, the fact that we went 3-7 and seven this week. So three wins, seven losses. Um, some of those losses were close, and some of them were uh, not at all close at all. So, but we have learned from this, and we've learned some interesting things. I've grown as a player a little bit, I think, from all this, um, which is which is good. That's, that's the point of taking decks like these and practicing them and uh, doing this, this, uh, this sort of deck experiment, if you will, that we've been doing. Uh, the point is to improve yourself as a player, not just to play things that are familiar and already battle-tested, but to kind of get them there yourself and learn all those lessons along the way. Um, and it's it's just fun. I enjoy it. It may not be for everybody, but I, I've gotten a kick out of it. So anyway, our first cut, without further ado, is going to be Trick Coin. While I'd thought originally, uh, in keeping this card in the deck as long as I have, uh, that we might want to take advantage of it with a number of coin flip effects, and Hyper Whirlpool has kind of appreciated this, um, ultimately, it's still a coin flip card, and our deck doesn't profit enough from it to uh, really make it worth keeping. So, in an effort to make our deck a little more streamlined, a little more consistent, a little more powerful, we are going to drop our trick coin out. Also, in kind of a surprise, we're going to drop, at least it was to me, we're going to drop Pokemon Fan Club. Um, honestly, just straight up drawing cards tends to be more useful than the basics themselves. We, we have enough methods of getting them other ways. Uh, that it hasn't really been that necessary, and most of the time it's just kind of a dead card in hands with better supporters in them. Um, so we are going to drop that, once again, in favor of something better. Uh, this is where we take things that uh, are good and change them into things that are better for our purposes. That's kind of where we are right now. Here's probably the biggest change. We're going to be taking out our Black Curem EX. Uh, when we originally started playing with this deck, we really desperately needed somebody who could offer a lot of power uh, very easily, and our deck was very inconsistent. We desperately needed somebody we could search for and either stall with um, against opponents who weren't really quite as uh, strong as we're facing now. Um, and also just, once again, somebody who could actually deal some kind of damage. But our deck can actually deal damage pretty effectively now, and this guy's wind-up is just so slow, and he's also fairly lightning-dependent, as you can see. Uh, and our deck is fairly light on lightning. He's, pretty, he's the only thing that even needs two lightning, and the only other thing that needs any lightning at all is Galvantula itself. Uh, and since energy, we've got a little much of it maybe still, and like I say, this guy just takes so much and he can't power up a double colorless for his big attack, um, it's just time for him to go. He was a very good addition once, but now he's really not as useful, and we can find something better. So he's going to come out this week. Uh, according with that, we're also going to drop one of our lightning energies. We're, gonna, uh, we're not going to drop our curve. Our curve is decent enough. I want to keep it this way a little bit longer, uh, but we don't need as much lightning. And some of you may already be able to guess if you've been following along what this is going to turn into. And finally, we're going to drop a Croconaw. We did add one uh, not too long ago, but we're going to go ahead and take this out. And this is another one that's going to be a fairly easy conversion. Once again, trying to make our deck a little faster, a little more consistent. Um, for Alligator gets up with uh, just one water and one double colorless. So we don't necessarily really need the Croconaw interim stage, especially if we get a little more searching power. Speaking of which... Uh, the Croconaw, most obviously, is going to turn into this rare candy. It just cuts out the middleman. Pure, plain, and simple. We're just going to get Feraligator up on turn two, because that's where we want to be. We want to be able to go in two turns with Feraligator rather than three, so we're making him a little more consistent. Also, that Lightning turns into a double colorless energy. Uh, our Feraligator really, really wants to get up in two turns, and I've had games where basically I would win or lose based on whether or not I found a double colorless energy. And they can, of course, be prized, so this is just maxing out our odds for getting it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go up to four instead of three. It's, it's that time, and we're trying to make our deck, like I say, operate a little faster. So part of that is getting cards uh, as often, as easily as possible. Now, speaking of consistency, Ultra Ball. We do get hands sometimes where 
we've got just a bunch of extra cards. We've played the versions of them we needed, and or we're not going to just we're just not going to use them right now. Um, so those extra cards can easily be spent on Ultra Ball, especially when we've got multiple Sycamore in hand, stuff like that. Um, very easy uh, discards and late game. We've got plenty of things that are very good, and we want them early, but they can turn into bad things later. Ultra Ball is going to be good for that. It's also going to help us get our Fralligators up quickly, easily, doing what they're supposed to be doing. We're also going to play a Versus Seeker here. Uh, this is our second Versus Seeker, and uh, we basically just need our supporters very, very much. Uh, we want to make sure we're drawing a lot of cards every turn to make everything go off correctly. And not only that, but this is also a great way to, of course, reuse Lysander. And Pokemon Center Lady is an early game discard, but late game can be very crucial in keeping Feraligator alive. Uh, Pokemon Center Lady has actually made or, made or broken uh, one or two games for us. So so we are running the second Versus Seeker to give us a little more versatility. Um, give us a little bit of utility, especially late game. Our last edition is going to be a Pokemon. It's going to be Seismitoad EX. Um, this guy's basically making the deck because part of what we need is somebody who early game can slow our opponents down maybe just a little bit, but still offer some damage. And we can actually power up his Grenade Hammer. It's not necessarily going to be our target, our ideal situation, but it's nice to have options. Um, that could win us a game or two. Uh, I'm strongly looking into the possibility of adding more Seismitoad EX as uh, next week rolls around, but we're going to see that and we're going to cross that bridge when we come to it. So those are our additions for this week. If you want to see uh, earlier episodes of this uh, experiment, or if we are, uh, if you're watching this more than a week from when it was posted in, if you want to see later episodes, go ahead and check out my channel, Edmagician34, and you will find this on Theme Deck Thursday. There's a whole playlist where they're oh so neatly organized. How convenient! What a loving, caring person I am to do that for you. And anyway, until next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more cool Pokemon content.